Good afternoon. We're in the valley, Fortitude Valley in Brisbane. And we're about to walk down Brunswick Street. Right now I'm on an intersection. It's the five ways in the valley. That five ways corner store has been there as long as I remember. There's a lot of seedy shops in there. It's 3.45 in the afternoon, quarter to four. Or 15.45. And it's about 24 degrees. It's the 11th of November, 2020. That building there is relatively new. And we're walking down Brunswick Street now. That area there where the camera is pointing used to be uh, in about that spot there. It used to be a nightclub called Whispers. It used to have the lit up dance floor like on Saturday Night Fever. It used to have all the expensive sports cars pull out the front. Girls with roller skates and cigarette. Um, lit up cigarette trays around their necks as well. Those days are gone. There's a few uh, seedy, seedy shops down here and stores down this uh, part of Brunswick Street anyway. Where all that construction work is, that's the entrance to the Fortitude Valley Railway Station. There's a mini arcade in there. And they're refurbishing that arcade and that entrance to the Fortitude Valley uh, Railway Station. The next railway station up the line heading north is Central. And that uh, Central Railway Station is in the Brisbane CBD, the Central Business District. But we're in Fortitude Valley now. So Fortitude Valley, also known simply as the Valley, is an inner city suburb. Well, not inner city, rather, but an inner suburb. Um, it's not right in the middle, the CBD is, but it's just out of the uh, CBD in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. In the 2016 census, Fortitude Valley had a population of almost 7,000 people. Now we're near an area here of this shopping, this group of shops here it used to be a department store called Walton's and it's absolutely in a disgusting condition now. I remember Walton's when I was a kid and uh, it was really well maintained, beautiful store, but there's just dirt all over the walls there. Look at that. Filthy windows. Boy, Mr. Walton would turn in his grave if he saw this. Right. 
Okay, so that used to be Walton's, that shop in there. We're going down Brunswick Street. We're on the intersection of uh, Brunswick and Wickham. There's McWhirters. Big, big department store. Well, it used to be. There's accommodation up in there now. And down below, there's a little bit of an arcade through McWhirters as well but it's just nothing compared to what it used to be. Even Maya used to be in there at one stage and they used to have the Christmas windows with moving displays every Christmas. But that's the original McWhirter shop front that hasn't changed. This used to be a street, but it was made into a mall. It's really not that much to look at in that arcade, so I won't worry about going in there. So Scottish immigrants from the ship SS Fortitude arrived in Brisbane in 1849. And enticed by the Reverend John Dunmore, laying on the promise of free land grants to the Scottish immigrants, they decided they'd jump aboard the SS Fortitude and come to Brisbane. But when they got here, they were denied the land. The immigrants set up camp then in York's Hollow Waterholes in the vicinity of today's Victoria Park, Hurston. And a number of the immigrants moved on and settled this suburb, naming it Fortitude after the ship on which they arrived. an old photograph of some trams running through Fortitude Valley. So this is the better end of Fortitude Valley. Yeah, well Fortitude yeah. Valley, Brunswick Street, that is. Coming up to Ann Street. place is very interesting at night. So Fortitude Valley National School opened on the 4th of March 1861 in a hall attached to the Forester's Arm Hotel. And um, the Forester Arms Hotel is actually almost where we're standing on the court, well was, 
where we're standing on the corner of Anne and Brunswick Streets, diagonally opposite the Royal George Hotel. So that's the Royal George Hotel there, and diagonally opposite would be there. All right, so the hotel's not there anymore, neither's the school. It's just called Cameron House. So the first purpose-built school, which was there, it's just amazing the changes. So we're going to head down Ann Street now. across here I think it's the Empire Hotel I'm gonna go down Ann Street a little way And if we keep um, walking down and we end up in an area called Newstead. So we're walking down toward Newstead, but if I were to go the other way, we'd be walking back up Ann Street toward the CBD. And we did that walk, remember? we. On one of my other videos, we walked all the way down Ann Street on the Brisbane CBD to about that point where that intersection is up there, and then we walked back along Ann Street. Now we're going down further down Ann Street toward Newstead, but I don't think we'll go as far as Newstead, perhaps the very beginnings of Newstead. some of the nightclubs. It used to be the Fortitude Valley Post Office in that building. Cafes and bars, and some hairdressers.
a lot of accommodation sprung up in Fortitude Valley as well. Also the area of Newstead too, there's accommodation springing up everywhere around here. We continue walking down Ann Street in Fortitude Valley. And remember, we did that section of Ann Street through the CBD almost to the valley. Now we're walking down Ann Street in the valley. Volvos, a few car dealerships here, BMW, and through there, just down a little bit is Mercedes Benz. We're going to go down James Street a little way. Oh, Morris Minor. Coffee shops all closed up. here I think.
trees, amount of greenery down through this way. by big fig trees up there. Just walk up here just a little further. It's great, this entire street's covered by these big fig trees. People who had businesses set up here years ago would see enormous changes through here. There's the Palace Cinema. coming up to Doggett Street. I believe there used to be, correct me if I'm wrong, there used to be a service station on the corner here. We'll just go down Doggett Street. Colours and patty clothing in there. Corner of Wandu Street and Doggett Street right now. It's looking up Wandu Street as we continue down Doggett. Then we'll turn left and make our way back to Ann Street. Mixture of businesses and accommodation down through here. I'll pass the pet warehouse. It's Bridgestone tyres.
There's a gym there called Club Bunker. Oh, we're in an area now called Tenerife. All right, we'll go down here, down Chester. We'll head back to Ann Street. Don't forget to subscribe. I really need those subscriptions, so I would appreciate it greatly if you do subscribe, and I really value those people who have already subscribed. Got a lot of areas we want to cover in Brisbane and surrounds, and even further afield. So your subscriptions will help me continue doing these, particularly if I get over a thousand, then I can uh, do live streams for you and you can talk to me in real time and I can answer you in real time. So we're just walking down Chester Street, heading back toward Ann Street. It's more of that high density accommodation that you can see. I wonder how reasonable the rents would be or what the body corporate fees would be in places like that. And of course those units, a lot of those units are owned outright, not rented. And Street. So I'm walking back up Ann Street now. Heading up toward the corner of Ann and Brunswick. A 
if I kept walking, I'd end up in Brisbane CBD. I was going to get off Ann Street, take you up Brook Street, and we'll continue up another street. Very busy, getting into peak hour. Won't be long and these lights will change. We can walk across. Here we go. up Brook Street now. Used to be an old church. Doesn't look like it's operating right now but it's an eatery called the Brook. I don't know whether they'll re open that or not. COVID-19 would have caused them a lot of hardship, no doubt. I can get a better view of that building from back here. There it is. They've converted that old church into an eating place, a restaurant. And look at some of these old buildings over here. It's just magnificent, isn't it? Look at that heritage. And that is obviously connected to that church building on the corner there. I'll walk up here a little bit further.
This is the Fortitude Valley Police Station. It's been there for donkey's ages on the corner there. So we're in Wickham Street now and we're going to go, instead of continuing up Anne, we're going to, we've just walked down Brook off Anne and now we're going to walk in the same direction up Wickham parallel to Anne Street. Gonna be a while before we cross here, no doubt. Well, it's a busy road, busy intersection. Intersection of Wickham and Brook. Brooks Street. Here we go. Walking down Wickham Street in the direction of Brunswick Street. There's the valley or the municipal valley swimming baths. I think some of uh, Brisbane's great swimmers actually trained there, preparing themselves for the Olympics. get onto the other side of the road here and we'll continue walking down Wickham Street there's the Valley Pool I think Tracy Wickham actually trained there
Here we go. You might be able to see my reflection in that glass. Hello. Walking up Wickham Street, as I said. Oh, nearly trip then. Boy, some of these pavers are very uneven. I'll have to watch it a bit further. Be more careful. Although that'd make a great video with me collapsing onto the footpath with the camera going everywhere. So yeah, there's di car dealerships through here and that street we were walking down before, Ann Street, if we kept walking, uh, we'd run into Ferrari dealerships as well. So if you've got a, a lazy $450,000 or $500,000, you can pick yourself up a Ferrari. Let's cross here, there's no lights. Some more street art there, if I can zoom up a little bit for you. Yeah, it's in the shadows a bit there. take us back up to the corner of that McWhirters building. As I said, Ma used to be in there for, for a little while. And when I was a kid, up on the roof of that old McWhirters building, you can see in the distance there, there used to be uh, a party, Christmas party for kids, and they used to have rides up there. And they used to uh, have little boats in water that went around in circles. And they had little toys. And they had Santa up there as well. That was up on the roof of that old McWhirters building in the distance. So I remember that as a kid. But it used to be multi-floor shopping through that building. Now it's accommodation and there's a bit of a bit of an arcade through there as well.
You see on the other side there is the original doors when this uh, building used to be a multi-level department store and they've still got the original McWhirter's doors there. There's a McWhirter's transfer on the glass. That's still there after all these years. Alright, just going to cross here. I want to give you another look at this original frontage of the McWhirters building because it hasn't changed. There's a lot of hardship in the valley by the way. There's a lot of drug use. It's an ice problem. And that ice problem isn't just confined to the valley. It's all over the place, all through the country. So that's the original uh, McWhirters frontage. That hasn't changed. So some things remain the same. I just want to take you up here and we'll go down what's called Chinatown, just quickly. I bet there's hardly anything down there. And if there isn't, we won't bother walking through there. There's no point. But I'll show you the frontage of it anyway. It's a Prince Consort. There's a lot of Asian shopping through here. Yeah, there isn't much happening down there. Sometimes I have markets down through there. Looks pretty vacant to me, but that's the valley's uh, Chinatown there. Okay, let's walk back. Some Chinatown duty-free Chinese restaurants down here as well. And just because of COVID-19, there's been reports of some people not supporting the Chinese community, which is ridiculous. They've got nothing to do with it. What the Chinese Communist Party do has nothing to do with the Chinese people. They're lovely people. So if I were you, I would support them. And any other business as well. We all need support, particularly in these hard times. And, and as shops and businesses open, we need to be supporting one another and helping one another. Yeah, bro. There, there you go. How are you, brother? How are you, mate? So we're just going back up Brunswick now. And I think we'll finish our video fairly soon. We walk down this way.
So I hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe. We've just been through Brisbane's Fortitude Valley. We had a good walk around and look at some shops. As I said, that's the old Walton store, and it's just a shame what it is now compared to what it used to be. But please subscribe. I really value your subscriptions. And if you have a suggestion for a video walk you'd like me to do in Brisbane or surrounds or even further afield, let me know and I'll do my best to do it for you. This is Jeff, otherwise known as Explorer Man, signing off. Have a great day.